My name is Abdirahman Ibrahim and I'm in DP2 and I study at the Aga Khan Academy in Mombasa. I decided to come to the residential community in Aga Khan Academy Mombasa because I felt as if that it would give me the room and opportunity to really explore my abilities and eventually evaluate the types of impacts that I have onto the world once I move on to university. I think that I've been able to get a much clearer image of my identity um, since being exposed to different, different groups, some which I didn't even know existed before coming to the academy. Um, it really enabled me to open my eyes to how diverse the world is and the importance of unity within that diversity. I'm part of a cast group known as Wasamaria. It was formed by a group of six friends of mine where we decided to come together and look at one of the major problems that face teenagers in Mombasa and we came to realize that the female population of Mombasa, the high school girls, miss out on quite a large proportion of their of their, of their high school education due to lack of the sanitary measures to deal with the menstruation period. That's when we took it upon us as an initiative to be able to find a suitable and um, sustainable replacement. Since the only reason as to why they were not able to do that is because they didn't have the necessary funds to buy the pads. Now what our group of Samaria did is that we went out of our way and we were able to devise um, a material which could be used as a substitute for pads, which was a renewable pad. Now what we did is that we were working with an Andanda Marga, it's a children's orphanage in Bamburi where we'd go there every once, once a month where we'd teach these girls how to make these reusable pads and at the same time educate them about the importance of both sanitation and their role in the society. I plan to study engineering at the University of British Columbia in Canada and I intend to take all that I've learned with me from the academy into Canada and eventually have a positive impact on the community there and eventually the community back at home once I finish my degree in Canada.